Hi YouTube, it's Joe here, South East London part-time eBay reseller. Um, been a long time since I've done a video, um, just just not got around to doing one, various reasons, been busy trying to yeah, stay ahead of stuff and keep on top of things. But um, yeah, just a quick catch up, I've, um, I've not been uh, doing a huge amount of sourcing recently, I've not gone to the boot sale for, I don't know, about 10 weeks or so and for me that's um yeah it's the first time in sort of four or five years when i've not been pretty much every week unless i've been away so yeah i went back this weekend and a few people said oh um yeah we've missed you or we've not seen you one guy said to me oh i read something in the newspaper about a guy who'd found a ring and sold it for a million pounds and we thought it was you so <laughs> sadly not but um yeah no so it's good to go back i've been trying to just get on top of all the stock that i've got at home um rather than keep on bringing loads more stuff into the house but i need to go out i need to get a new frying pan for the wife and there's guys who are always down there with brand new stuff like that so that was my excuse i managed to throw that in there that if i pick that up for her um yeah, she'd, she'd, she'd let me go. So, um, yeah, it was quite good to get out. And so I'll show you some of the things that I picked up. And then also a couple of bits from the charity shop in the week. Although, again, try and sort of cut down on the sort of charity shop pickups and so on. Well, they're saying that I do find that when you stop sort of sourcing new stuff and you stop perhaps not sourcing, but stop listing perhaps new stuff, your eBay store does tend to sort of slow down a little bit. I don't know, January, February, end of quite difficult times anyway, quite slow anyway. But yeah, I just feel things have been a little bit slower than perhaps they have been previously when I've been buying new stuff. And that sort of motivates you to list that stuff, get that active, get that turned over and then make a bit more money uh, that way. So, yeah, my listing hasn't been sort of perhaps as much as I should have been doing, but yeah, I'll get back on it now and going out and buying new stuff yeah real incentive to get it listed so i'll go through what i picked up a couple of bits over here um board games um munchkin i picked that up from a uh, picked up from a charity shop for a couple of quid and um, there's two versions of this there's one which this is the older version which is um black and white sort of cards or sort of couple of shades of brown cards whereas the newer one is uh color and sort of does a bit better but that's about sort of 10 to 12 quid you know it's not great but it does sell fairly reasonably fairly quickly so that's that this was nice, this Carcassonne, um, really nice board game. Um, yeah, again, that was three quid in the in the charity shop. Um, yeah, and it's all complete and it's got the river expansion there. So it's a slightly better one than the general base game. That's about a sort of 25 to 30 pound game. I don't think you can sell that one on Amazon. So that's an eBay only. At the boot sale this week, uh, as always, plenty of trainers, um, some nice ones, um, just a lot of the usual stuff that I pick up. I've got these Converse, two pairs of Converse. These are size 9 high tops and size uh, 10, yeah, with white low tops. And I asked the guy how much he wanted to do his unpacking. He said, oh, they're a 10 or something like that for these. I went back a bit later on and he said, I said, how much were the two pairs? And he said, oh, you can have them for a 10 for the pair. So that was quite nice because these are sort of 25-ish um, pairs of trainers, really good condition, both of them. So they should sell quite nicely quite quickly these i picked these up these are nice these are sort of their quality uh they're the pharrell williams ones they're sort of superstars adidas superstars really nice blue good condition good size size nine um pay a five on those a guy had a lot of trainers and he was wanting quite high money on a lot of them but managed to get this pair off him for a five and they're about a 30 pound pair so not great but not terrible um these were from a charity shop. This is I saw these and I was quite interested because they're um, sort of a collaboration pair of trainers. They're um, Dead Mouse ones, um, Puma and Dead Mouse. I don't know if you can see that. Not very well because the lace. There's like a hologram there, and they've got like the Dead Mouse symbol. Dead Mouse. I pretty sure like music producer from i'm sure he's still probably producing stuff. But I remember him from when I was at school actually, sort of 10, 15 years back. Um, yeah. So I don't know how old these are. I need to look into it, but. Uh, pretty decent pair of trainers though five quid in the charity shop and should get about 30 quid back on them these are nice uh nike uh, nike air air max moire ultra moire or moire i don't know how you pronounce it um but the thing with these i i wear these trainers sometimes not the hot not these ones but slightly different and you often get like this white fluffing comes through here these have got a couple of little marks on here as well but the white fluffing comes through and a sort of it's on these ones and what i tend to do is if you run a lighter over it it's sort of it, um, it burns all the ends off, singes all the ends off. It doesn't look great either way, but it doesn't look great all sort of sticking out and it doesn't look great burnt off, but not terrible. I paid up on these a little bit. I paid a tenner on them, but they're a size 10 and they're in really good condition. These ones I sort of ran over and cleaned them off a little bit um, versus these ones, which are still a bit dirtier. But all these marks, should, most of the majority of those marks will come off. And they, you know, should be sort of a £50 pair of trainers, hopefully. Um, yeah, good size, good condition. These ones, Nike Max ones again, um, I paid four quid on these ones. They're not in the best condition, maybe I should have left these, but in my size, worst case scenario, I could wear them for kicking around the boot sale. Um, yeah, they're suede, um, 
but you know if they do sell maybe get sort of 20 to 25 quid back on them these are a beat up pair of converse uh size nine uh they're a quid that's why i picked them up they'll need to go in the washing machine and i have to clean the rims with all the stuff um the jiff cleaner like i say i normally do and yeah if these were sort of a different pair or different size i wouldn't have bothered with them but because they're the white ones because they're uk9 it's good size you know there's always a market for them even if it's not like a huge one so sorry if it's not like a huge price but they should sell pretty consistently pretty well picked up over here a load of um calvin klein socks lady socks sorry just move these out of the way um yeah, I've had these before off um, particular seller. They seem to get them quite regularly. I've not had these particular colours, but uh, each sock, you know, 15 euros there, they're saying. Um, and I picked up sort of three different shades of the pinky purple ones. I'll do them as like a one of each colour. They're a pound 50 each of these socks. So I'll do probably a set of three for maybe 20 quid. Might not go at 20 quid, probably go at 15. Um, but yeah, I've got quite a lot of them. So it's just a repeat listing. Just make a bit of easy money on those. So that was quite, quite good down here picked up a couple of football shirts in the week from the charity shop this is a wesley schneider one from uh holland one netherlands one uh it's got his name on the back i think it's around 2012 13 i think from memory so that's not a bad one and paid four or five i think paid about four quid for this one as well this one's nice this is iniesta um spain shirt uh, but it's from the World Cup, FIFA 2010 World Cup in South Africa. And that's the year, one of the years when Spain won it. So, yeah, that shirt can go for up to sort of 50 quid, um, maybe more. Um, so, yeah, quite, quite should do quite well with that. I've got quite a few shirts listed at the moment. And it's probably a good time if you've got them to get them on, build up to the World Cup and stuff like that, people wanting them. So, yeah, pleased, pleased to have found that. I don't bother with every football shirt, but most, yeah, most football shirts, if there's some age to them, you know, and especially if they've got names on the back, normally do all right with them. So that was quite cool this here is a miami heat uh Dwayne Dwayne wade um jersey uh good condition that was a quid well i'm pretty sure he doesn't pay for the heat anymore i think he's left i think he pays for the calves but i'm not 100 percent sure on that i might be getting that mixed up i think he does so yeah so that was quite nice and these sort of do about 15 to 20 quid it's in good condition just run it through the wash picked up some game boy stuff there's actually some game boy stuff at the car boot which was nice um Guy wanted three quid for each of these games where he said he'd do four for a tenner, which is a bit, you know, if you're going to just sell the game by itself, it's not great. But I tend to, it's nice to have like a little bundle of Tetris games because I often sell them with a Game Boy. It does quite well and I find myself running out of those quite quickly. So yeah, so it's nice to get a couple of those. Um, so I just, yeah, hold them back and put them in the store to go when I sell a Game Boy. And I picked up a couple of Game Boy bundles recently, I think off um, like local buying sites and Facebook and stuff like this. And this was a nice one. This was, I can't remember what I paid on this exactly, not a huge amount, but it's got a nice sort of set of games in there. And it's got a really nice original DMG01 Game Boy in really good, clean condition. And there's some pretty decent games with uh, a lot of the instructions. So nice. So I've got a little Jurassic Park part one and two. I'll do as a little bundle there. Um, Kirby's Pinball, I've got Kirby's Dreamland, a couple of copies of that with instructions, so I'll do that as a bundle. Worth holding onto the Donkey Kongs, trying to get them all together and selling them off. So yeah, so, so nice little bundle there, and then another bundle over here. Um, yeah, the nice sort of Game Boy Color, lime green Game Boy. Of the coloured ones, this tends to be of the sort of the basic colours, excluding the sort of the Pokemon one, but of the basic colours, the lime green ones seems to be the most popular, most desirable one. So yeah, I was quite pleased with that. And then a reasonable, pretty reasonable selection of games. It had, um, yeah, where are you? It's got this Batman, the animated, uh, the animated series, is that? Yeah, that's about a twenty pound, twenty five pound game actually. So that was quite nice. Um, yeah, Final Fantasy. You've got a couple of these multi carts which you can't really do much with. You maybe try and sell them on. You can't really sell them on eBay. You get your listings pinged, and then a couple of um, three Pokemon's, which is always nice. Um, I'll probably just add them to the to the Pokemon store over here. That I've got a few. Um, yeah, so we'll just put them. We'll put them ones in with the, with the rest of them. I, I just tend to hold on to Pokemon games. I don't really know why. Just got to catch them all, haven't you? So that's them. Um, but no, I'm pleased with that. So pleased to be getting on with uh, getting on with all these bits and pieces to do. I'll try and list these stuff this week. Um, you know, I've got to clean a couple of bits. But most of the stuff should be fairly straightforward listings. Um, the Game Boy stuff I find is quite good because it's quite easy to list and turns over quite quickly. Um, the trainers yeah try to sort of stick to your sort of main your quality sizes your good colors and so on so yeah hopefully get this stuff out the house fairly quickly um that's obviously the aim isn't it all the time to sort of turn stuff over 
but that's uh, me so yeah i just thought i'd touch base solo um so having not done a video for a while i hope everyone's doing all right i hope sort of getting over the january february slump and sort of motivated to stay on top of things and list loads so best of luck to everybody i'll maybe do a few more videos if i'm sort of getting out of the boot sales a bit more regularly now and yeah hope you do well cheers guys bye, -bye.